Okay. Oh. Hello there. He hasn't noticed me. He either didn't look or didn't use his map or probably both. Let's just scatter them a little bit so my berserkers can catch up. Just knock him around a little bit. Just give him a little bit of a slap. <laughs> He's using the wrong longsword ult. And trust me, from vast experience, it is the wrong longsword ult. Now, he's also made a very other critical mistake. And that is, can, do you know what it is? Pikes do not fight on stairs, ever. All types of pikes, they cannot fight on stairs, ever. He should have taken what was left of the unit up to the top of the stairs and braced. Because any brace on stairs and any pikes on stairs don't work at all. Bye. Hey boys and girls, it's Nightstalker here. Welcome along today to Valley Fortress Siege. Check it, check it out, man. We're still uh, in this Berserker buzz, still on this Huskar buzz, and I'm absolutely loving it. Uh, the Berserk is, of course, very strong at the moment. Um, we'll see what happens once they lose all their Huskarl buffs. Of course, when the gold units come out, uh, there'll be less Huskarls around because everyone will probably switch to the gold tier Axie boys. Um, and that will mean that the very large and quite powerful buff radius that the Huskarls put out won't be affecting the Berserkers so much. Um, plus, we'll have more powerful units around and some Cav, and I think the Berserkers will sort of scale back a bit. So uh, we'll just have to see how that happens. I'm also going to bring Imperial Shields, um, mostly because... They're just an epic unit to play with longsword, and I play them. Well, the majority of games I play, I bring a shield unit, so we're gonna we're gonna go with that. Don't forget as well, we also have the absolutely mighty, mighty powerful woodcutters who are unstoppable on battle. <clears throat> yeah. All right, so we're zooming in now, and as soon as that starts to zoom out, we're gonna hit the control key now, and that way you don't have to watch the rest of the animation. Use that control key. Uh, while my woodies are, are pushing in the siege tower, I think we'll just have a crack at this. Ooh. It's not meant like me to miss a culverin shot. Better. What else we got here? This guy. There we go. Um, I guess we've run out of artillery, even the cannon up the back there. What can we do? We can't demolish this tower, watch. Nah, I'll break your castle. <laughs> right, so what are we going to do now? Um, there is a... Uh... <laughs> no? I'm trying to get him to shoot at me, rather than my unit. Shoot me! Look, I'm right here. I'm dangerous. Uh, we've got nothing better to do at the moment, so we'll see if we can... Oh, wrong ladder. I'm going to get kicked off. Yep. <laughs> Should be able to get up this time. We'll just harass a bit. I don't want to stick around too long because there are a lot of enemies here, or potentially a lot of enemies here. We'll just beat on this guy. Yeah, there we go. We'll just run off the edge now, and we get stuck on this ledge here, and don't take a lot of damage, and then we're away scot-free. Anyway, Siege Tower's in now. Ow. What you shoot me for? Nothing in there. So, the woodcutters. <laughs> I like the woodcutters. In terms of peasants, they're pretty good. Their charge is decent. Like, it does a, a reasonable amount of charge damage, actually, quite surprisingly, for peasants. Probably the best out of all the peasants. Um, they have a natural... Ooh, we don't, we don't bring woodcutters in against berserkers, though. Because if you're a berserker, peasants are just health potions that scream. <laughs> so we keep them away from berserkers. Um, yeah, I'd say they're probably the best 40 leadership peasant. People will argue for the Watchmen. Um, and that's cool, because you can put like a, a Brace Doctrine on them and stuff like that. I think if we can just scare this guy away, because... Not that I'm going to kill him, but just because I don't want to let him just keep doing whatever he wants to do. Just harass him nicely. So yeah, uh, the Woodcutters have a natural 2 sprint ability. Um, they have a decent charge. They have high armor penetration. Uh, they have reasonable damage. Oh, get away from me. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Plus, you can use them for stuff like this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put them here just underneath this guy. And what that means is that when he jumps off or gets kicked off or falls off, he won't be able to run away because he's stuck in the middle of the unit. Potentially. It depends which way he goes out. <laughs> Look at him. All right, nobody's going to knock him off. We'll have to go and have a go. 
Let's jump up here and we'll just hit him. There we go. Maybe we can charge into him, do a bit of extra damage. See, not bad damage there, eh? Even at point blank range charge. Only a couple of them hit him, but that's fine by me. They're a 40 leadership unit. So, what have we got here? We've got peasants, peasants, berserkers, and halberds. Um, at this point, I really should be going and swapping out my peasants. You, you, you don't want to try and fight with them. If you bring peasants to a push, you're just weakening your team's push. You should. I, I think you should typically use the best unit you've got available for the situation. These berserkers are going to take the hits. So I'll help them. No, nope, that's going to end very badly for them. Berserkers are good, but they're not immortal. It's fine, we'll get them to trigger their Zerk. Oh look, Halbert's fallen down. Polax. Can we uh, intercept? Intercept? Have we got someone to back us up? I don't think so. There's anyone on the map. No, and of course my other skill was on cooldown too. Never mind, an attempt was made. And again, we're going to pull these um, woodcutters back until after the Berserkers rage. And we'll charge them in again. Hopefully we'll do enough alpha damage on the charge to actually negate them. Ah. Now we just health potions for them. But we have got a lot of pikes and stuff here, and we are actually whittling the unit down. This is domain pikemen and woodcutters. Beating Berserkers with the help of two longswords, no less. Hey, we managed to do it, I'm surprised. About time those Huskarls got involved, they were kind of just sitting there watching for some reason. Um, and that's why at this point I should have changed the unit out already, that was not, not the best idea. But we'll just send them off now to die. Um, if they even get one hit, well, that'll be one hit that they didn't have before. Um, mostly because I can't bring the unit out again, so they might as well have a crack. Right, it's Huskarl time. I find Huskarls really good push up siege towers um, mostly because you can psych them up in safety you know and get them pumped get them ready for the weekend pop some bottles with them having a song and a dance and then when they're in the top tier of their ability they um, they move very 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 quickly so you can put them in little places like this and you can start doing your song and dance now, if you've got any singles they do accept tips This is a good place for these javelins. Once they psych up, we'll just come in here and we'll crush whatever's in the way. Heroes? No problem. Let's kill the heroes. See half of them on the left there didn't go down in. And we'll just scatter this pike unit a bit. And that was pretty clean, man. That was pretty clean. Use the, the frightening alpha damage of the, uh, the unit to clear off those heroes. I would have liked to clear more of the units, but they were too busy punching uh, heroes in the face, and that's not the worst thing, right? Um, we're just going to, I'm not actually sending them back to the supply point, but this is the easiest way to get them to move directly away from the combat. So that's a little tip you can use. By the way, if you need that little hand symbol to click on the supply points or anything like that, it's the control key, same as using, um, same as using them to uh, push up siege towers and whatnot. So we're just about pumped and psyched and then we're going to go and kill these grandpas because this unit does, does crush grandpas. Watch this. Especially if they don't brace against it, it'll be an instant slaughter. And now we have captured the supply point. Kill him, kill that guy please so we can start capturing. There we go. Noise. Okay. It's ours now. Actually I might just tuck them off to the side. That is a longbow there. We don't want to get shot for no good reason. Uh, why are the guys down the below? <laughs> there were guys down below. So we're just kind of camping here. The game we're getting pumped for the weekend, pop a bottle, sting and songs. We can either fight paladins down there, which is not really what we want to do. They've got a nice tough shield. Uh, I think we'll just continue with the push over here. And one of the ways you can do them more accurate charging is to move them towards the enemy first, similar to cavalry. And look at this monstrous alpha damage that we do. Oh, crushing. We'll just feed the unit now. I think we can bring them down here and just fight these pikes. They're not very strong when they're not in their um, their chanty war song abilities, but they can still take a lot of hits. They have, they have a lot of hit points and reasonable armor. You know, not bad at all. 
the unit wasn't going to be really uh, really useful for the next stage of the push you know we only we had half a unit we were always going to change it out so we might as well get some value there you know trade out as best we can ah uh, yes the toxic jav cav and let's take the hairy zerkers let's go Alrighty, so we're looking for, um, we've got a lot of cavalry on our team here. We're looking for maybe cavalry around corners. We're looking for pikemen especially because they kill pikemen nice because they don't have shields. So here we go, this is exactly what we want. A hero and some loose cavalry. Very easy victory for the berserkers. Very tasty. Oh, I just saved that short sword's life and he stole my kill. Ah, oh, this... No, no good deed goes unpunished. Um, these Fenrirs are very dangerous now. They used to. I, I had the opinion that they were pretty garbage uh, last season and, and before, but ever since they got their buff, man, they, you've got to respect them. Even Berserkers have got to respect them because their burst damage is incredible. So we're just going to camp on the point here. Um, these other Berserkers, we don't want to fight those. We want these Grandpas to go in f uh, first, um, mostly because we we don't want to take the punch. Here we go. So we can we can go in and, and outburst the, the berserkers healing, but we really very much needed the um, the grandpas to take the hit, or we would have lost too many of the unit. Alrighty, so I've got the choice. I can swap out. Um, the problem with pushing up these stairs and things with a shield unit is they're very slow, and things can change quite rapidly because you don't typically have a lot of good vision up towards the supply point and stairs. Plus these guys can climb walls pretty quick. Oh look, it's a longsword. I did damage but didn't get an assist. Boo hiss. One thing you can do is stand under here. That missed me. Um, and what'll happen is they'll get full rage and they won't die. Because don't forget, if it's berserkers, what doesn't kill them just pisses them off more. That guy's still up there. Let's see if we can get hot rocked again. Here you go. Bomb me. Bomb me. Bomb me. <laughs> and now we've got full rage. So because we're not near rush, we send them back to the supply point. These tires take a long time to heal because they have 20,000 hit points. Um, these banner knights pushing up are a bit crazy. Are they banner knights? No, they're men at arms. They're totally nuts. Men at Arms, um, if you're thinking, hey, I might get Men at Arms, they look like a good unit. They're, they're kind of like knights and they've got a shield and sword. Don't. They're a terrible unit. Terrible, terrible unit. This is too hot for me to come in. Can't treat them either. Oh, hello, Mr. Th Mr. Short Sword. Let's just knock you down and let the berserkers eat you for breakfast. Om nom 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 nom. Tasty, tasty. <laughs> Liquidated. Okay, uh, it's foolish to go up there. There's uh, Huskarls at the top. So, Palace Guard, they can take a lot of punchy punchiness, so we'll, we'll follow them in because they can take some hits. Palace Guards, come back. Zerkers and Shields, I'm definitely following them in. Double Zerker, Stalwarts, Imperial Shields. What are those? Grandpas. Yeah, we got this. But I don't want it says Huskals charging up. I don't want to get I don't want to take the first hit on the Huskals. Once they've done their first charge, we can come in. Let's go. Uh okay. Berserkers are running off. <laughs> they must have gone after that musket hero. Yeah, they did. Um, we'll just tuck them in the corner here. There's no need to take extra damage. No need at all. We're gonna capture C rather rapidly. It's good to see we have multiple units, uh, multiple he heroes on, this, on the, the point here, and we have two shielded units as well, which will protect us from some of the god awful stuff. Um, we'll bring their berserkers onto this, these triple units here, and we'll heal four units at once. So every single one of those individual guys that I just got in that burst will get 1,000 hit points back, except the berserkers who will get 2,000 hit points back. It's nice, isn't it? Oh, oh, freebie. Freebie X Raiders. Kill them. Tasty. Were they X Raiders or were they Berserkers? It's sometimes hard to tell with the skins. Oh, yeah. No, Dachi will just get killed. Oh, Cav, 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 bad. Running away, Cav. Good. Eat them, boys. Eat them. Tasty, tasty. Here we go. Free cavalry kill. And there's just nothing here to capture. 
Now I want to change over to the shields, so we're going to go and capture the point. You know, six berserkers are still really good, but they're not, you know, they're not 32 Imperial Spear Guard. Right, so they've got hard defense on the left hand side, i.e. down to the down ahead of us here and up to the right. So we're gonna probably go to the main doors. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Ballista. Oh, Bolax, what are you gonna do about it, huh? Stupid blister. Oh, that's an error, sir. Four de Brachios versus a longsword and some <laughs> and some shields. This is over, Rover. We've got you killed. Hopefully our team come in with us. They will. Good. We're going to annihilate them hardcore. That was a solid push, and I'm pleased to have initiated that. Uh, Palace Guard is a very good defense to this. We'll stay out a bit, and then we'll come back in once their, um, their nearly bracing thing is CC resistance and crap. Oh, my God. God, that is a terrible, terrible trip. That is a terrible trip. Just appallingly bad. That immediately ended our push. It's going to kill a couple of dozen of our own units. Oh, right in the middle of a... Oh, just... Oh, that was the worst trip I've seen in a very long time. Oh, that was just awful. All right, all right. Shake it off. Shake it off, Knight. Turn that frown upside down, refocus, refocus. Right, let's go. We've still got Berserkers. Uh, no, this side. Do you see how we were just getting shot down on? I'm just going to put them over this side, otherwise they get musket bombed and stuff. We really don't need that in our lives. Oh man, that musket got beansed. Oh, so Imperial archers are very, very good in the right situations, man. Okay, so I'm going to camp here. Ow. I kind of forgot about that ballista. Never mind. It's only a, only a green one. I only lost half my health. That means I get all my health back in a few seconds. Every time you press R, <laughs> or trigger Mercy of Heaven, whatever skill you've got it on there, when you're a longsword, you immediately get 45% of your hit points back. Free cannon, nice. Not immediately. You get a whole bunch back in and over time and 10 seconds later you're back to full health it's, it's lovely and you, of course every single second that we're on the battlefield we get 160 health back as well because well longsword things um do we want to fight these i don't know i haven't put new berserkers into them before no, it's too late now i guess zerk it up boys We'll just disrupt this entire unit because both Fortabrachios and Stalwarts very much rely on staying in their formation. And between the Berserkers and the Longsword Alt, it's really not much they can do about that. So GG. GG, yep. Well done. We didn't quite reach 100 kills, but I think we're going to be okay there. We did 1.1 million damage. We took 2 million damage. Well, that's a lot of, a lot of stuff to have killed. Only 9 peasants. Not too bad. Huskiles did great. Berserkers did great. Imperial Spearguard did absolutely fine. That was the job, after all, to initiate that push. We got 1,000 support. We got 265 <laughs> uh, participation more than anyone else on the team. So that's fantastic. I think we did really well there. Only one hero kill, but that is a longsword life a little bit. Just having, just having a little bit of a look. Having a little bit of a look for my own interest. Well, boys and girls, I hope you learned something new or you just enjoyed the battle. Oh my goodness, we got double the amount of hero kills they did. Thank you so much for coming to my channel.